2016 May Hemis, we are here with our esteemed panel of guests. And uh, next up, we're going to talk about something very important in professional wrestling, and that is brands. Brands, groups, if you will. Uh, Joe Dombrowski representing one on his hat right there. Federations. Federations. Is the old school That's the word. That's the word I'm looking for. Uh, Joe Dombrowski. Present. What do you, what do you think? Who, who, what, what federation had the best 2015? Uh, well, until you said federation, I think my favorite brand would be Heinz. I enjoy <laughs> their ketchup very much. Uh, apparently, they have 56 other products I'm not aware of, but be that as it may. Um, wait, do we have time? I can tell you. Can well, we just get a scrolling? Please, can we just... Um, <laughs> you know, I, I guess my forehead spoiled it, but I'm going to pick Ring of Honor. Um, you know, there's a lot of excitement in the brand. I know Justin Plummer was excited about Ring of Honor right before he went on the air here. Um, when you look at, you know, U.S. wrestling throughout 2015, it's been a bit of an uphill climb for a lot of people. And uh, uh, business is down. As Tracy Smith said, business is down, man. People don't care anymore. You know what I mean? So it's, it's something special that Ring of Honor can show uh, tangible growth in pretty much every category when we're talking about the television outlets and the new markets they've added and uh, certainly Destination America was helpful in Comet TV now. Uh, their live event attendance has been up across the board in pretty much every market they've been in. Um, and, and, you know, the talent level keeps growing. They have a great young talent that keeps developing. Their, their training camps are churning out a lot of guys. Top prospect tournament. Um, you know, even LaRusso snuck in on a couple shows. Um, so, you know, there's a, there's a, there's a deep pool out there of talent, um, that, uh, that's being utilized and, and the brand is, is only great gaining more and more of an identity, uh, uh, as it goes forward too. So, so Ring of Honor to me, if you look December 2014 to December 2015 on every promotion across the board, I think Ring of Honor looks the best from A to B. I ought to mug you. But there's cameras running, so I'm not going to. As much as Do Ring it. of it'll Honor, make for good, it'll make for great. TV. As much as Ring, no, I'm putting over the. Look, I love Ring of Honor. Okay, we all I, love. We all love Ring of Honor. Honor. We all Let's love Ring of, Ring of Honor. Honor. <laughs> um, you know, and, and obviously I'm a little bit biased, and I, I agree with everything he said. R Ring of Honor had had probably their best year ever this year, um, but I'm going to go with a, a company that really I think shook up the the landscape and go with Lucha Underground. Uh, Lucha Underground really changed the idea of what professional wrestling could be. They went in a very different direction with their production, with their storytelling, with their characters, with their uh, presentation, with uh, across the board really tried to do something different. And that's something that professional wrestling has historically been hesitant to do. If you look at the way that, I mean, Raw has been produced in pretty much the same fashion since the Attitude Era. Uh, and, and, and as far as their, their use of camera angles, their use of how, how, the, how the ring is lit, how the stage is lit, how backstage, uh, uh, backstage segments are presented, it's been kind of the same way for, for quite some time. And a lot of other companies have, uh, have mirrored that presentation. Not Lucha Underground. They went with something totally different. And some people were, were turned off by it. Some people loved it. But I think it, cha it challenged what could be. And they're going into their, their second season now, uh, having just brought in Rey Mysterio, which is a huge coup for them. Uh, their, the, the buzz is very high, and uh, I'm very curious to see what uh, Lucha Underground does in 2016. Um, I mean, two good answers I, that I wasn't even actually thinking, but, you know, that's, we're looking small picture. We're looking within the wrestling audience who was successful this year. But if you look big picture, you know, even the most successful, unless you're talking about The Rock or, or John Cena, even the most successful wrestlers, especially on, on this level and on an independent level, are still to the outside world. It's weird. It's looked down upon. So you, I, I like to go big picture. Who's breaking through that wall? Who, you know, you look at WWE and, and their ratings are going down and, and you, you still got to give them a nod because they're the ones that are breaking through into mainstream media. They're the only ones that could really draw new fans into the market. But um, I'm going to get off their bandwagon for a while, kind of, because you said, you said NXT would be a different, mm -hmm. a different brand. Right, yeah. 
I, I think you got to look at NXT and, and what they've done. I mean, just here in Pittsburgh, tickets have gone on sale twice this year. Uh, the first time, it was really tough to get tickets uh, for anybody. I think the second time around, they just went on sale a couple of weeks ago, and they sold out in less than a minute. Uh, and I know it's not it's not the um, uh, the Mellon Arena. What is it now? Console Energy Console Center. Energy Center. Uh, it's a smaller venue, but it's just you see some of the other venues they're going to, and they're selling out, and there's so much hype around it. And I think the hype around the NXT product could eventually help the WWE product if they could find a way to to transfer the you know when they're when they're pulling these these. Uh, athletes up from NXT, if they could find a way to keep the momentum going without mm -hmm. crushing it onto WWE television and just go with it. Look what they're doing there and try to do it on a larger scale. I think they could use that mold to take the wrestling market and grow it beyond what it is right now, which ultimately, you know, WWE's got the share of the fans, and that's the way it's going to be for a long time. But it's not about battling for the fans that currently exist. We need to expand the wrestling market because it is not in good shape right now. Mm -hmm. And um, I think NXT has shown that they have the ability to do that. They've been killing it. Their attendance has been going up. That's what all the hype's about. Um, and they're even bringing in independent talent. They're kind of doing like the indie thing, uh, but on a national level. So definitely I got to go with uh, NXT on this one. Awesome. Well, folks, uh, you can cast your opinion over at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. All of these and more will be up for voting. Go and check them out at your earliest convenience. But in the meantime, stick around because there are more videos a-coming.